Hi, this is BSIG Online. I'm Andy White. Um, this is Laura Hudson. Laura, you, you work for Macmillan yes. Publishing. What do you do for Macmillan? I'm their senior sales representative for Germany. For Germany. Yes. Okay. What does that job entail? Okay. Well, the main part of my job, obviously, is um, to promote our titles. So that involves traveling around Germany, visiting customers, showing them products, asking them for market feedback on what their needs are as well so we can pass that on to the publishers so that our publishing becomes more market specific. Mm -hmm. It also involves a lot of teacher training and workshops so it could be a presentation of a course if it's a promotional tour or it could be something like I would do for a teachers association which is more kind of um, skills based workshops. On our, our materials. Okay, a teacher's association yeah. like... Uh, like in Hamburg, you, you've got one, or in Frankfurt, they've got a group of um, teachers who will work together and network and set up workshops for each other. So. All right, so I could I could say, hey, hey, Laura, could you come and give us a talk on this thing or that yeah, thing? Exactly. Does it have to be a course book? Uh, no, but everything that obviously because I work for Macmillan, Macmillan, everything that I would do would be based on our materials, but it wouldn't necessarily be course book specific. So, okay. for example, I've given workshops on speaking skills and taking resources on of our websites, uh, or taking ideas from the course books and showing people how they how they work and how to encourage speaking in the classroom, for example. Yeah, you you gave a really great presentation as you always do in Hamburg uh, yeah. last year. Um, about what secrets are your course books hiding? Yeah. <laughs> what, was the, what was the secret? Uh, well, what I found from teachers was that they, they flick through books to see what they're like. Everybody's used to doing that, but um, they don't always take out the digital product in the back of the book and download it because they used to be so boring and they're kind of used to ignoring them. So what I wanted people to realise was just what they can get off of these discs and that it's not just for the students that they can use them for, as teacher resources as well, like um, downloadable uh, class audio files or um, downloadable worksheets or yeah, there's, videos there's tons or whatever. On there. Yeah. whatever. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Um, how did you get into to working for Macmillan? Um, I actually taught English uh, for seven years mm -hmm. and I decided I wanted to move back to England and uh, I didn't really know what to do. I was kind of looking at teaching in England. Um, and I happened to be on One Stop English and clicked on Macmillan and just thought, oh, I wonder what, what sort of jobs Macmillan would have, if, if any, mm -hmm. and just decided to have a look. And there was this job sales rep Germany, and it was almost like they were describing me. No, okay. <laughs> okay. Speaks German, likes driving, you know, has teaching experience, etc., mm -hmm. etc. So, yeah, that's how I got into it. And... Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, what's what's the best thing about the job? I mean, I love I love your presentations. I like the workshops. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I've, I've done a lot of or given workshops myself, and I think it's so great to, to interact yeah. with teachers, yeah. and I, I learn so much. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but being a sales rep is a little bit different. Yeah, it's kind of uh, it's difficult when you, <clears throat> when I first started. It was almost like I'd gone to the dark side, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of had to learn to not be afraid to be commercial, that was the first thing I had to learn. Mm -hmm. But also what I like about being a sales rep is that I still have the flexibility that I had as a teacher of the travel and meeting everybody. I mean, that was the best thing for me about teaching was just meeting all these different people with different backgrounds and uh, going into all these different companies and I still do that and I still get to meet great people. and. It's better now. I've been doing it for six years because it's like visiting friends almost now. Yeah, so yeah, it's nice. <laughs> yeah. Visiting old contacts exactly, of people. Yeah. That like, yeah. but maybe like me. Absolutely. Sometimes. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's super. Yeah. That's. Those are some really good tips about mm -hmm. moving into that. Yeah. If if people are interested, um, I think there are a lot of further development opportunities <laughs> in that as well yeah, because it's a different yeah. path. Yeah, it's because I don't think publishing is necessarily an easy thing to find your way into. Mm -hmm. It's it. Uh, it's all about knowing people a lot of okay. the time. But once you've, you've got contacts, then there are all sorts of branches you can go off into that yeah. you wouldn't actually have thought of, like that going into digital publishing or right. 
going into editing or something like that. It's, it's got lots of different aspects to it and it's very it's a fascinating in industry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've learned a lot from you, Thank you. Um, <laughs> along the way. All right, um, we'll wrap it up then and then get down and maybe see if there's a, a glass of wine for us waiting Excellent. somewhere. So <laughs> that's the sort of thing we would do. Yeah. All right, <laughs> thanks for watching and we'll be back later with more.